What up, guys? Coming at you guys with another video. Ugas Figueroa. Damn, this fight was long as fuck, to be honest with you. I mean, it did go all 12 rounds, but, like, I felt like this shit was mad long. And right now, I'm just super hyped. I mean, it was a one-sided fight. Uh, congratulations to Ugas. I'm just excited right now. The main event is about to happen. Keith Thurman, Pacquiao. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out all my other videos. And yeah, alright, so one-sided fight. Ugas, not Ugas, it ain't no joke. You guys saw what he did with uh, Sean Porter. Real close fight with Sean Porter. Uh, this was a WBC eliminator. Uh, but right now, uh, Sean Porter is supposed to be fighting Errol Spence. Unification fight. So we'll see what happens there. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. Ugas Spence, that'd be a good fight, to be honest with you. I really would like to see DSG, Danny Swift Garcia... Versus Ugas. And Figueroa. I mean he needs to go back down to 147 to be. I mean to 140. Like he. I don't know. He's just not up there at 147. Uh, Who knows. He might. I don't know. He's been off. He's had hand injuries. But who knows if we'll ever see a Figueroa fight again. Hopefully we do. Just at the lower weight. And Ugas. You know congratulations to you. Sensational boxer. Um, Let's see him up in there. Up there with the like shit, even with Jose Cito, that'd be a good fight. There's other welterweights out there, him versus uh, Ortiz. Um, who else would make a good fight? Shit, even Sergey Lepinitz, that'd be a good fight, or uh, John Molina. Um, I'm just super juiced, like I said, it was a eliminator, uh, close fight. Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Did you guys think that uh, Ugas pulled it off? I mean, it's because Sean Porter, he fought a different fight than he usually fights. He was just like being a pure boxer. And I feel like that, I mean, we're just not used to seeing Sean Porter like that. That's just like uh, when uh, John Molina fought uh, Ruslan. That reminds me of that fight. Like, we're just used to seeing Molina as a slugger. But he decided to be a boxer. And then, I mean, I guess it worked. But at the end of the day, Ugas ain't no joke. You could definitely see the big size difference. Um, and I'm honestly Figueroa. He's a he's a beast. He usually always has a heavy hand versus his opponents at the lower weights. But you could just tell he wasn't gonna hurt uh, Ugas. And man, congratulations to Ugas. Uh, go ahead and comment on the video, like the video, subscribe.